Alrighty, welcome back to another video in SQLite. Today we're going to do some select statement examples. We're going to show the like operator, how we can use that in a few different ways to grab some records with certain data found in rows. And I don't know if I'm phrasing that too well, but hopefully it'll make sense when we go and actually play with the data a little bit and create those where statements. Before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And hopefully these videos help you in some way because that's really um, all they're here for. I wouldn't have made, uh, we're up to 268 videos as of recording this one right here, which is kind of wild. Feel free to also check out my website. I haven't put anything on there in so long. I need to get back onto it, but maybe by the time you see this in the future, there'll be more content on there maybe some practice problems and stuff. So feel free to check that out. And yeah, in the last video, we talked about the SQLite row factory, which also another shout out, you can go check out the playlist of all of the different SQLite videos. So you can get sped up to this point if you want to check those out. But we talked about the row factory and how we can kind of dictate how the data looks and is returned to us from a select statement in SQLite and Python. So in this example, we just returned a dictionary object of the data. But today I just want to talk about selecting the data and the database. We've seen statements like this before. I'm sure you have as well. Select star from table name. But what if we want to add a where clause? So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about basic where clause where we just say where value is this, but we're going to also show the like operator, which makes the where clause a little more laxed in a way that we can get data if a subset of that data is pre-existing. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of the row factory stuff that we did in the last video. And let's just focus on now the select from table. And I'm still gonna select everything, so we're gonna keep it as select star from cars. And if we look at the cars table, let's say I wanna select where the manufacturer is Audi because I have two records in here where the manufacturer is Audi. And yes, I know I spelled manufacturer wrong, but it's too late to worry about that now, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe we'll talk about updating uh, column names in the future. Maybe that's a fun future video. But anyway, where manufacturer factsure is equal to, and in single quotes, just as it is cased in the database, we're gonna say is equal to Audi. And instead of printing just one, um, we're going to fetch all and printing out those results. So now we'll get a list of tuples containing all of the different records where manufacturer is out here, or at least we should. So let's find out if that's true. So pi main.py. And here we go, we got a list of tuples. We have two total because that's how many are in the database with the manufacturer Audi. And by the way, if you don't want case sensitive, something you can do where upper and then in parentheses manufacturer is equal to and then instead of Audi with only the A being capitalized, I could do A U D I all capitalized. And if we run this, we'll get the same result set. But if some user put in Audi with all lowercase or some user put in Audi all uppercase or different cases throughout the word, um, you can do it this way. That way, no matter what casing the user put into the database, you'll return it whenever it equals Audi. Just a little tip there. But a few videos back, we did something fun where we put in a single quote into the manufacturer for Nissan. We put Nissan with a single quote at the end. And if I write a SQL statement like this, where it equals Nissan, we're only going to return the one that doesn't have the single quote in it. But maybe we want to return wherever the word Nissan is found in the column manufacturer. And that's where the like comes into play. Like, we can add different wild cards saying anything can be before it, anything can be after it, but if the value contains this particular thing, then return it. And the way we would do that is instead of equal, we say like, and then on either side of Nissan, we're going to put the percentage. And like I said, what this is saying here is anything can be before it because the percentage we can treat as a wild card. Anything can be after it. But if Nissan is found somewhere in that column value, return that row. And if we wanted to say 
Uh, anything can be before it, but we just want it to end the Nissan. Then we would remove the last percentage, or vice versa. We could say we want it to begin with Nissan, so we remove the percentage at the front. But we're going to keep the percentage on both sides that way. As long as it contains it, we're just going to return that row. And now if I run this, we're going to get both the one that says Nissan with the single quote and the one that just says Nissan. Where before, if you remember, we were just getting this row right here. So one more thing you can do in SQLite without the percentage, what if we just wanted a single character wildcard? Because the percentage is any number of character wildcard. But what if we just wanted a one character wildcard? Well, we could do the underscore instead. So what this is saying is there can be any letter right here or any character. And as long as it's followed, whoops, by an I S S A N, let's return that. So if I run this, we're going to only return that row where Nissan doesn't have the single quote, right? Because we didn't put that percentage here anymore, that wild card. But if we do a combination of the two, if I do, it can be any character, wild card, just one, and then ISSAN, and then there can be anything following it. Maybe there is something, maybe there's not, doesn't matter. Let's return those. That's what this is saying. Let's run this, and now we get both of those rows yet again. And by the way, you can have multiple underscores in succession. So I can remove the I and also put another wild card, run this again, get the same result set back. And then lastly, let's show the and, right? So we can say where manufacturer is Nissan and the model is Sentra. I'm gonna copy this, Sentra, and then like Nissan and model is equal to Sentra. If we run this, we're just going to get the one row where the model is Sentra because the other model is the Ultima. But if we wanted to do another like where we say model is like wildcard and then A because both of these models end in A, we can do that to return both of these. So if I remove the S-E-N-T-R and replace that with the percentage and I run this, we're going to get nothing because I didn't change it to a like. Let's do that. Now we get both because both manufacturers contain two characters and then SSAN with a wild card following. So it can or it may not have this single quote. And then also we said where model is ending in the character A, which both of these do. And then also we can do an or, let's do an example of that, or upper manufacturer, and I'm just gonna actually copy this so I see myself having to type that out, is equal to, and we're going back to Audi. So now we're going to return wherever it's character, character, SSAN, wildcard, and then also where the manufacturer is equal to Audi. Now we have the two Audis, the two Nissans, and everyone's happy. So those are some examples of select statements. And then we also showed how to use the like with the underscore and also with the percentage. Hope this helped you in some way or at least was entertaining. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in a future video.